you're watching Talking About Orcs. In this edition of Talking About Orcs, we're going to be going over the Ludas. Ludas are the second most infamous unit in the Orc Codex, after the Knob Bikers, and had a reputation long before the Knob Bikers were around. What's so good about the Ludas? Well, they put out an incredible amount of firepower, even for Orcs. Each Orc, each Luda, is basically an Orc boy, just like the rest of the models in the Codex. The same uh, weapon skill 4, ballistic skill 2, strength 3, toughness 4, 1 wound, 2 base attacks. But they're equipped with def guns. Def guns are 48 inch range, strength 7, AP 4, heavy D3. The unit can consist of between 5 and 15 of these guns. That puts out up to 15 shots for a 5 man unit or up to 45 shots for a 15 man unit. That's 45 strength 7 shots. Even in Ballistic Skill 2, you're still talking at least, or I should say not at least, but you're talking about an average of 15 hits. Or even 5 hits if you roll for one shot each, you're still getting 5 hits. 5 hits of strength 7 is still quite, quite a bit of firepower. Ludas are one of those models that will garnish a lot of attention from your opponent, obviously, but they're not flawless. They do, being strength 7, of course, they can't hurt land raiders and they can't hurt monoliths. So you're still going to have to depend on your power claws and rockets to try and damage those kind of vehicles. But other than those two, shoot away. Shoot whatever you want with these guys. Because they will put out some hurt. Of course, there will be some times you roll bad and they won't do anything. But that's the nature of both the dice rolling and the orc codex. Especially orc shooting. But there will be times where you roll a little higher than average and you just sit back and go, wow, I can't believe these guys are in the codex. What's, what they're really good against, I think, is transports, rhinos, wave serpents, devilfish, things like that. The lower armor value, between 11, between 10 and 12, that's where they really excel. Because there's two advantages to taking out transports. One, is you get the guys out of the transport so your boys can assault them. And two, they lose a lot of their speed uh, for objective taking and for being able to get the assaults on you. So taking out those transports is a great idea. And with the prevalence of mechanized in 5th edition, you see a lot of transports. So, taking Ludas, how do you take them? Well, the easiest way is a single unit of 15. Uh, they are still leadership 7, like all other orcs, and they have no access to a boss pole. The only upgrades they can take is you can swap out a Luda for a mech, which comes with a custom Mega Blaster, which you can swap out for uh, Slugger Chopper, Big Chop, Big Shooter, or Rocket Launcher if you want. Again, that's probably a waste of effort uh, putting a mech in with the Ludas. There's just no point. So 15 Ludas is, is your basic uh, unit. Keeping the numbers high will get you that fearless and will keep you around under mob rule a little longer. Uh, I would consider 10 to be the minimum unit size for Ludas uh, on a practical level. That way you can take uh, two casualties without having to worry about a leadership check. And uh, 15 is even better because at least you start out fearless. Now lately, I've been running two units of 10. That gives me a lot more flexibility. It gives me a chance to fire in a unit twice, on a target twice, should I roll for only one shot per gun. I can get a chance to do it again. And uh, it gives me just some tactical uh, flexibility, which a single unit of Ludas doesn't have. Because when you think about it, if you only have one unit of Ludas, they can shoot at most six targets per game. If you're playing Dawn of War, it's going to be five targets. And that's really just not enough, so I've decided to go with two units of Ludas. Um, I've run two units of eight, and that was actually surprisingly good. 
Uh, one unit will almost certainly die, but the other one will get a lot more shots off. A lot more turns of shooting because of that. Uh, but generally speaking, I still consider 10 to be the, uh, the minimum practical unit size. Um, Lutas are about firing lanes, uh, controlling firing lanes, making firing lanes, and dominating firing lanes. So deployment of Lutas is absolutely critical because you can't move them around and shoot like everything else in the Orc Codex because they are heavy weapons. So you want to put them in cover where they have a good uh, scope of fire, good uh, firing lanes. And if you have two units, well then you have crossing fire lanes and anything comes in between the two units is, is just uh, in a world of hurt. I've had a couple games where I've had opponents uh, hide rhinos entirely from me. And because of that, I've been uh, much more careful in my deployment. Uh, having a rhino completely hidden out of sight uh, negates the real power of the Lutas. Now, when you model Lutas, uh, you can get the official GW models, uh, which includes uh, four bodies, and then you can choose either Burna, uh, uh, Burnus or Lutas. So you add in four more bodies from, say, a boy's box, and you can get both Burners and Lutas out of the box. Or you can just make your own. I uh, Most of my Lutas are uh, custom. I only have five of the actual GW models. Uh, this one here is my favorite when uh, it's uh, got uh, hurricane bolters resting on his shoulders. That's my new favorite Luda. I love this guy. But you can go with either the, uh, the in the hand slung look like a big shooter or you can go for the over the shoulder like the factory uh, default uh, GW Ludas. Uh, if you do that then you're going to need some plastic card to kind of make a harness for them. And using the uh, slugger hands cut off the slugger and that gives you your pistol grip. You can then use to uh, uh, build a frame up around it and make them look like shoulder mounted weapons. So that just about covers Ludas. There's really nothing bad to say about them. Ludas are just amazing firepower. They're a threat to almost anything they, they shoot at. And your opponent, especially if they're playing lightly armored mechanized vehicles, will realize they need to do something about them right now. And if they're shooting at your Ludas, they're not shooting at your boys, they're not shooting at your trucks. Which is always a good thing, which means you're going to be in close combat even sooner. Ludas are great. If you haven't tried Ludas, you will be amazed by what they can do.